uh, leadership discipline through action. Thank you so much for making time for us on KT News. Now, the Chief Justice Martha Kome is presiding over the inaugural Banking Industry Mediation Conference at Strathmore Business School. The aim of the conference is to see how mediation can be used to reduce time taken to clear disputes in the shortest time possible. The Honorable Chief Justice is currently speaking. Let's cross over live and listen in. And compatriot uh, Judge Anne Crea Williams, otherwise known as Atieno Wango retired judge of the federal court of the appeals of the u.s we performed a naming ceremony at the kenya judiciary so it is a serious name that we gave her you better respect it uh, the vice chancellor have already recognized you um, all the judges present and justice friend was Cheng, the chairperson of the mediation task force uh, Honorable Justice John Jodunga, who is the chairperson of the Mediation Accreditation Committee, all the judges from all the jurisdictions in the U.S., from Zambia, Rwanda, and the Kenyan judges, the president of the Law Society of Kenya, Mr. John Gashora, chairperson of the Kenya Bankers Association, and all the very, very distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. Good morning. Uh, when one is asked to make a keynote speak, you tremble, especially when you come after such distinguished speakers, beginning with the Vice Chancellor who has summarized the theme of this conference very, very subtly, but very, very clearly. And when he was described his virtues, I wondered why the dean of the law school, Strathmore, forgot to say that he is also, I think, a preacher. <laughs> because he delivered the message why people are always in conflict, even in conflict with themselves. This morning, what made me wake up is the knowledge that people have traveled from the U.S., from Rwanda, from Zambia, to come and help us push mediation further in Kenya. And when I came to this room and I see the enthusiasm and the passion, I think this inspiration is going to drive me to wake up every day that God has given me to serve as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya to make mediation work so that we can resolve our disputes harmoniously and we can be able to live in harmony. So the time is now for us to lead the way to leave this conference with things that we can go and do to push mediation as a way of resolving the disputes and the conflicts. We have heard that even within ourselves, we live with conflicts. So because many speakers have spoken very profound uh, words and statements of encouragement from our governor, to all the speakers, Justice Ocheng, you can see why we have made him the chairman of the mediation task force, because when he speaks to stakeholders, they all sign to mediation and they sign the agreements. So keep it up, my brother. So I adopt all those wonderful speeches because I don't know whether mine has a key or it has a note, but if... <laughs> If I take all that has been spoken, I think then it will have the key and it will have the notes. But it is indeed my delight to join you this morning during this inaugural mediation summit, which is very timely, an initiative that supports our quest to promote a culture of mediation and other forms of alternative dispute resolution in Kenya. I thank the conveners of this su summit, the Court and Next Mediation Stakeholder Working Group, the Kenyan Bankers Association, the Strathmore University, 
our colleagues and supporters from the U.S. and Claire Williams, otherwise known as uh, Wango Atieno, Atieno Wango, started planning this summit a long time ago. And she started coming to Kenya in 2006. Every year she has come three or four times to Indeed, that is the Chief Justice Martha Kome speaking.